Hello, this is Brad. I wanted to show you how to use the company root feature on the JAR A320 FMGC. It was a mystery to me until last February when there was a very informative thread on xplane.org in the A320 forum. There are two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you both and then you can decide which one works for you. So I'm going to pick a flight here from FlightAware. How about Boston to O'Hare in Chicago? So I'll search for some flights. Pick one that is close to my flight time. Got a United 674. The line I'm interested in is the route line. This is an abbreviated form of the flight plan. If I decode it, you'll see all the waypoints that are associated with it. I'm interested in this line again, so I'm going to select it and copy it to my clipboard. Command C on my Mac. I am going to do a screenshot here. So I have this for later use when I'm programming my FMGC and you'll see how that works. So here we are in our editor, just a plain text editor, and I'll go ahead and paste that in. I'm going to show you, paste it in twice just so that you can see what I'm going to do. So this is obviously is our SID, the transition point from the SID to our root and on the other end transition to our star. I can use this method or I can swap it out for just SID and star. Those waypoints will get programmed once we get into the aircraft and begin programming the FMGC. So here are the two methods. There's only one thing that I need to add to this and that is the abbreviation for direct DCT. It needs to be added wherever it is not part of a star or a SID or a jet route. So here I have Boston to my SID to transition. I do not need to put direct there. Here's a jet route bookend by CAM on one end and FNT on the other end. I do not need to put direct there. This is the transition to Windy 6, our star, so I, need, I don't need to put it there. Since our transition waypoint Highland and CAM are not associated in either of those ways, I need to put it there. So looking at our other method, I still need to put DCT here, but that is the only place. So for our purposes today, I'm going to use this method. I need to make sure that I have no carriage returns, and I'll go ahead and save that to the flight plan folder under aircraft, heavy metal, and our JAR A320. I wanted to show you an example of another flight. This does not have a star or a SID. So I go from the airport direct to a waypoint, direct to another waypoint, a VOR, but this bookends a jet route. So I do not need to put direct between this bookend and the jet route, or the jet route and this bookend. But I do need to put it between the VOR and the airport. So here we are in the aircraft. I have power, but the engines are not running. So I'm going to start by clicking init, and then putting in the route that we just saved. KBOS to KORD, Boston to Chicago. 
If it reads correctly, you'll get this message. If it doesn't, you'll get an error message. Go ahead and align our IRS. I will put in a cost index, oops, need to clear that first, of 45. No cruise altitude just yet. Take care of our fuel panel here. And then on over to our flight plan. And you can see that it has already put in some of our waypoints. I'll pull this over so you can see. Notice we need to fill these in. And that will happen when I start programming the FMGC. But you can see that it has started. So I'll click on our departure airport. We will be leaving on four right. Highland for Sid. No transition. And insert. So you can see now that these other waypoints have been put in. So now over to our star. We're going to be landing to the east on nine right. And we'll be using the Windy Six star. And I'm not going to put in a transition. I've done that a couple of times and because of a bug in this particular aircraft um, I would get a bizarre set of waypoints that make absolutely no sense so I'm going to skip that and just insert it without putting in a transition. So we'll go down to FNT which is here so we have a bunch of waypoints that we need to put in manually. So I'll go ahead and do that as quickly as I can. I'll speed up the video. Now notice that as I've added these, this number has increased. So the way to fix this is either to put in your waypoints before you add your star or clear this and add it back in. And that goes after Peyton. And you can see now that it's down to 18 miles. So now we'll go back to our init, put in a cruise altitude, flight level 320, go over to our performance screen, put in our V speeds, transition, our flex speed, traditionally F44. Make sure that we have altitudes. So just to check, everything is okay there. Fuel panel taken care of. Our flight plan is good. Our takeoff panel is good. So we're ready to push, start our engines, and taxi to the end of the runway.